The question is, how do I come out if my wife is not in agreement? Wow. Um, exactly like the word says, uh, when, when, you, when Jesus said that he's going to bring a sword, and that sword is going to come and it's going to divide your, the enemy of your own household will be of your be of your own household the uh, uh, father against son daughter against mother-in-law i mean it's all over the place and um the way i did it obviously is uh, like i said i stumbled across uh keeping the commandments of yah keeping the shabbat uh my wife was uh, at the time was uh strongly against it she thought that i was going back to my muslim roots which i can see why now because a lot of the muslims got their stuff from the hebrews but anyway but as I was uh, seeking the Most High Yah and um, seeking His righteousness, um, it, it did bring a lot of stuff. I did not, I didn't even know what I stepped into, to be honest with you. I didn't know it was that serious. And when I started uh, going in the, in the way of the word, um, people uh, turned against me. My wife turned against me. Uh, my children, well, uh, they, they were obedient to me for the most part, uh, but uh, she was able to to take them out, call the police and say, I'm abusing my children. You know how that all gets into uh, family, uh, friends, uh, people that, that knew me, they were neutralized. You know, they didn't know what to think. You know, uh, they were able to show, you know, videos of Pastor Dow, uh, you know, talking passionately and maybe saying words that uh, you don't normally hear in the Christian church uh, from a man of what they, what they will say a man of God talks like. And uh, so they didn't know what I was thinking, you know, and so they were neutralized. And then other people, they were just completely against me. But at the end of the day, um, you have to choose. Yeah. I mean, Jesus makes it very clear to be my disciples. You have to hate. You cannot serve two masters. You're going to either love one or hate the other. That is clear. There is no I'm going to try to do both. You can't serve two masters. Uh, one of the things that we were talking about coming out or being a community, if I can just add in there, when it says come out and um, and uh, and be ye separate, we got to understand that the way this thing works is a lot of people, especially people that have left the ministry, one of the things you hear them saying are people that don't want to be a part of the ministry say, well, why do you have to submit to this, uh, to Pastor Dow? You are your own man. I, I couldn't tell you how many people told me, Kabir, you have your own platform. Don't let Pastor use you. Uh, he's just using you for your your name and things of that nature. Pastor was doing his thing for a long time before I came on the scene, and and so, um, but this is the stuff people's always wearing. Well, I want to be my own man. I want to do my own thing. Well, here's the problem. I don't care. I, I I can honestly say, tell me if I'm wrong, Pastor, or any of the elders or pastors. Tell me if I'm wrong. There is not one single person on planet Earth, on on Earth that is not serving someone. You are. You think you're serving yourself. You think you're the head. There, even Pastor Dow, I'll even say he is submitted to someone. And once you realize, that's why even G, even Moses said it. Jesus, choose this day who you're going to serve. And I think it really comes down to two two uh, kings here, or two people that uh, that's ruling. You have Yah who's ruling the children of Yah, and you have the children of Satan. And that's who. You, so if you think you're serving yourself, look at uh, Kyrie or anybody that's in the entertainment business, or look at the actors, all these people. They think that oh, uh, Kanye, Kanye, a billionaire, billionaire, woo! He's a billionaire. He's his own man. He can do what he want. Look what happened to him. He lost his children, right? And then he starts speaking truth. What happened? Then they took his billionaires to now he's a million. He's a multi-millionaire. Because at the end of the day, what is he serving? I, I don't know what he's serving. But I'm just saying he's ser he's not serving Yah, so he's got to be serving Satan. And in their eyes, they're serving money or they could be serving fame or they could be serving something, but they're serving something. And so I have chose and the, and, the, and the elders and the people that's on this panel, we have chosen to serve Yah. And Yah has brought me to this ministry and I have no problem submitting myself to Pastor Dow or whoever Yah. And he, in this case, he chose Pastor Dow for, the, the, for this moment, for this hour. So I don't have no problem submitting myself to whoever Yah chose. And in this case, it's Pastor Dow. It doesn't matter how he talks. It doesn't matter how he brash he is, how loud he It does not matter. If this is who Yah has chosen, then I'm submitting to him because I submit to Yah. And, right. and, and that's, what I, that's one of the things that we do in our community. I'm very proud of the community I have. I have, I have a big, I come from a big family and I, we, can't, we can't even 
agree on anything. We fight for every little thing. <laughs> but in this community, I have over 20 people. And we're talking about people from all different walks of life. We have we have people with huge skin all the way to white as snow. Okay, I'm, maybe that's exact. No one's white as snow, but we have people that's pale. And at the end of the day, we are all submitted. I always tell them, guys, in this community, I'm like the husband. And I'm the bride. I'm the bridegroom and you guys are the uh, the bride. And when we, when it comes to pastor or any of the elders come, then we all submit it and to that person. They're like the husband. And so the whole thing is about being one mind, one soul, one heart. And 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 I was talking to my community this, this past Shabbat. I was telling them, I said, guys, the things that we are doing here at Straightway Truth Ministry, I'm going to be honest, it is un-American. It is literally un-American. Let's be honest. I, I, I know, I mean, people think like, get your own house, get your own picket fence. But this is part of coming out. Coming out of her, you got to be un-American. Because um, American is about being divisive, doing your own thing. If you think about it, I was telling them, you know, we uh, in America, they, uh, they celebrate the 4th of July, Independence Day. But really, it's really Rebellion's Day. They rebelled against the king. This whole country is built on rebellion. And mm. so for us to, to do things, you have to understand, we come, Yah has a king. He's, he's the king of kings. And he has a kingdom. And in him, he has a way that he rules. And he put governors over people. And if you're not submitted to those governor, to those governors that Yah puts in place, then you're not submitted to him. You hate him. Just like they did with the, uh, um, Samuel. They rejected Samuel. They said, okay, no problem. And, and he says, Samuel, is because you're old or your children. No, he says, when they rejected you, they're rejecting. They're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me. And so when we reject Pastor Dow or, who, or whoever Yah has anointed to be in leadership, when you reject him, you're literally rejecting Yah. When a wife is not submitted to her husband, she thinks she's rejecting her husband. In actuality, she's rejecting Jesus Christ. And right. when stand before the Most High Yah. And say, well, Jesus, you know I love you. No, you reject me. When do I reject you? You reject me when you rejected your husband. Well, he, it doesn't matter. Even if he wasn't obeying the word, you should have, you did not trust me. It comes down, you're not trusting me. So at the end of the day, I love what straight what we're doing here at Straightway Truth Ministry. And I believe that if we uh, gather together and we're submitted to one another in love, the way the Bible says to do it, we're going to make it in the kingdom, no matter what is getting thrown out and everything, uh, getting on communities, having our own food, building our own house, uh, multiplying. You know, I'm big on being fruitful, multiply, and so on, and so on. So um, that's how you come out. It, it requires you to be un-American. But if you want to hold up to your American lifestyle, you're not going to make it. You're just not going to make it.